this is exciting. So these, <laughs> these are definitely not my foray of vehicles. We know this. Um, and I did not get the whole set here either. And I did not get the new model, which is the very awful Countach. I love the new Countach, okay? Don't get me wrong. It's a gorgeous looking car. Hot Wheels butchered it. I don't know what they were doing. The front wheel is extremely tiny. Extremely. It, I, I would like to say it's smaller than these rims, but it's, it's probably the same size. And yeah, the proportions on it just suck. The new one looks good, but I don't really care for the yellow. And the Julia, well, it's just a Julia. I have the Matchbox one. It's okay. These two are where my interest was. Now, I did pass on um, the previous Elf Romeos. Well, actually, I didn't find them, I don't think. Um, this is the first one I found. I've wanted one, though. Uh, well, actually, yeah. I must not have found the other ones because I did really want this casting. At least an example of this casting. Not going to be a completist on it or anything. Just want an example of it. And this one too, the Lancia Stratos. Uh, the Lancia Stratos, not Lestratos. Um, I had a basic model, like a basic one from like 2002. I think it was yellow. Uh, yeah, not really good looking. Sold it off. I was going to wait for a, a actual good looking one to come out. And this one is perfect. This I, It can't get any perfect than that. I'm so excited about that one. Probably more than most people are. We're going to start here with the Alfa Romeo. Matchbox did do this casting, right? I, f I have a feeling this one's better only because, you know, Matchbox tends to be better. But again, that casting came from the Tyco era. And we don't speak of the Tyco era, nor the Hero City era. Those are the dark ages of Matchbox. Some of the Tyco castings, or at least the cars they picked were really cool. But they were just executed awfully. Um... Like the Arc 7, you know, the Arc 7, the Arc 7 is nice. It's nothing compared to what we can produce today. I guess it's nice for the time period. It is nice. This is nice. But it better exists, okay? Wow. So now this is supposed to be a martini livery right and martini are cigarettes right i think so which is why there is no martini badging on the hot wheels model because they cannot advertise cigarettes maybe if this was the 1920s yes they could because everybody was smoking cigarettes in the 1920s before the depression um <laughs> but yeah, so I, I've, I, I, I know nothing about this car. I'm not going to pretend I know anything about this car. But I do know that it's got a very cult following. A lot of people like this model. Or not this model, yes, and the real car. So we got really nice headlights. We got all these eventations here. It's kind of got like a little BMW thing going on down here. Um, Bilstein, Pirelli, sponsorship on this one, Alfa Romeo. Badges are all over. I think the Alfa Romeo badges are replacing the Martini badges. You got the... That's the Julia badge, right? Or just the Alfa Romeo badge. I don't know. Uh, 155. So it's not like a total racing livery. They're just putting the name of the car on the side of it. Bilstein, Brembo. All the B sponsors are here. This wing is plastic. They did do a metal wing on one of the cars. I forgot what model it was, but one of them got a metal wing. That was a separate piece. Oh, I can't remember what it was. I think it was the AMG. I feel like it was the um, the the red AMG. Well, there's a yellow one coming in Boulevard now. I don't know the actual model name, but I think that one has a metal wing that's a separate piece. That might be the only one. Because some of them have metal wings, like the Liberty Walk R34. That's got a metal wing, but it's part of the body. But I think the, the AMG is the only one that has a metal wing that is actually... And I think it's the AMG. Now I'm like, I'm, I'm looking over at my wall trying to figure it out. And it's not the S15. That one has a plastic wing. I can't remember. Huh. Well, maybe well, I'll figure it out when I review that one. I still have to. And then when I get the yellow one, uh, if I find the yellow one. T 
Tail lights look really good. Of course, I love bar tail lights. We all know that. Alfa Romeo, Brembo, Pirelli. You got your exhausts, which are amazing. Got this black trim, which is probably part of the livery. I don't think it's there for anything else. The rims are like a titanium gray-ish, kind of. Uh, this has the white roll cage, which is a separate piece, which just like the uh, Escort in the last video there. Yeah, this thing is super cool, and I love the stance of it. It's low profile, low to the ground. And uh, we're going to park it up with the Escort there, even though they're from two different worlds of vehicles. And we got the Lancia Stratos. Let's pop this one open. I, I love the Lancia Stratos, okay? I'm not the biggest fan of that thing in real life. Uh, I don't hate it. It's just not a car I've ever paid attention to. But the Lancia Stratos, I have. Uh, I still know nothing about the car. I know Lancia sucks now. And they probably won't get any better. There have been companies trying to bring back the Delta specifically. Um, with different like renders and... You know, proposed concepts of bringing the Delta Integrale back. Which, that's another one I would love to see in Hot Wheels Premium. We have the basic versions. The basic versions are alright. But if we get a premium one, I'd be thrilled. It's, this Stratos casting has been around for a long time. This is the first time it's been in premium. I feel like it has. This, this is the first time it's been in premium, I feel like. But this thing is awesome. Awesome. Especially with all the black detailing here, because this is something I do with the Sharpies. It looks really good. Really good. You got number 40. This could very well be a real li racing livery, just without some of the sponsors for, you know, like, <laughs> martini purposes. 40 sticker. You got the Lancia badge. Lancia stickers all over it. You got your fog lights down below. Your grills. Your ventations. Got gold rims. Love gold rims. I think uh, a lot of you know I love gold rims. Actually, no. My YouTube audience has not seen my car. Hmm, we gotta do something with that. 40, <laughs> Monte Carlo. Okay, so this might be a real livery for the Monte Carlo. Um, what is it, a hill climb? Rally? I don't know for sure. But this might be, like, mimicking a real racing livery. Well, that one did too, but... The main sponsorship isn't on there. I don't know if this one had a main sponsorship. If it is, it's not on here. Uh, that's a gasoline company, right? Could be wrong. Lancia and... Oh, my, the back end looks so good. With the black spoiler. Lancia Stratos right across the back there. You got your tail lights. Your maybe reflectors. Reverse lights. I don't know for sure what they need for rallying. I don't think they need reverse lights. But those could be, could be what they are. We got the little exhaust. I wish they poked out just a little bit farther because I know they do on the real car. Got your louvers, but that's also, this is an old, yeah, 2014. Okay, so this has been in premium before. I can't remember where. It's got a 2014 base plate. I know the, the mainline casting has been around for a while, the plastic base. Because, um, yeah, I had like the 2002 version, 2003. But yeah, I had no idea this has been in premium before, so where would that have appeared? I don't know. But this is an amazing release. I dig it. And um, if this was a Lamley video, he would A, say this is fantastic, which he might have. I didn't watch his review of these. But he would also say that vintage racing still exists. And it hasn't gone anywhere. Oh. And I think he's right. Don't you? Vintage racing is very much alive in the Hot Wheels line. You just gotta look for them. And when you put them all together, this is one of the most legendary groups of cars you would ever see, ever. Too bad they aren't real, though. Vintage racing is still around. You just gotta find it. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys. Bye for now.